Hello there, this is Father Ken Lau, and welcome to the new episode of Nuggets for the Soul. Uh, today, April 26, is the feast day of Our Lady of Good Counsel. Okay, St. Mary's Parish here in Ottawa is also named after uh, Our Lady of Good Counsel, you know, uh, one of the many um, names of Mary. Where, yeah. where did this uh, name come from? Okay, so I'd just like to share with you the history of, 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 this, of this title. Okay, uh, first of all, on April 25th, 1467, on the feast day of St. Mark in the city of Genasano, uh, it was a Saturday, and the crowd began to gather in front of the church of the Mother of Good Counsel. Okay, all about four in the afternoon, everyone heard the chords of a beautiful melody that seemed to come from heaven. The people looked up toward the towers of the churches and saw a white cloud that shone with a thousand luminous rays. The cloud descended on the church of the Mother of Good Counsel. Okay? So the rays that emanated from the little cloud faded away, and the cloud itself gradually vanished, revealing a beautiful object to the enchanted gaze of the spectators. So it was a painting that represented Our Lady tenderly holding her divine son in her arms. Almost immediately, the Virgin Mary began to cure the sick people there, you know, and grant countless consolations. Okay, so the news of the painting and its miracles spread throughout the province and beyond, attracting a lot of people. So two foreigners named Giorgio and Des Desclavis entered the city among a group of pilgrims that had come from Rome. These two wear strange clothes and spoke a foreign tongue, saying that they had arrived in Rome earlier that year from Al Albania, and while most people had refused to believe their story, uh, it had a special significance for the inhabitants of Genazano. Okay, so what happened there is on January of 1467, Turkish army uh, was uh, uh, going to invade Albania. So, uh, so the, the shrine, there's a shrine there was threatened with imminent destruction and profanation. So two Albanians uh, were torn by the idea of leaving the greatest tre treasure of Albania in the hands of the enemy in order to flee the Turkish terror. So in their perplexity, they went to the old church to ask their Blessed Mother for the good counsel they needed. That night, the consoler of the afflicted inspired both of them in their sleep. She commanded them to prepare to leave their country, which they would never see again. She added that the miraculous fresco, which is the painting, was also going to leave uh, uh, Scutari, uh, which is in Albania, for another country to escape profanation at the hands of the Turks. Finally, she ordered them to follow the painting wherever it went. Okay, so the, the next morning, the two friends went to the shrine. At a certain moment, they saw the picture detach itself from the wall on which it had hung for two centuries. The pilgrim painting left the church in the environs of Scutari. It traveled slowly through the air at a considerable altitude and advanced in the direction of the Adriatic Sea at a speed that allowed the two walkers to follow. After covering some 24 miles, they reached the coast. So, Giorgio and Descalvis walked on the waves of the Adriatic Sea. And uh, so there they continued following the miraculous uh, uh, painting, climbing mountains, fording rivers, and passing through valleys. Okay, upon reaching the gates of the city, uh, the clouds suddenly disappeared before their dis dis disappointed eyes. Giorgio and the Scalvis began to search the city, going from church to church, asking if the painting had descended there. All their attempts to find the painting failed, and the Romans incredulously regarded the two foreigners and their strange tale. So what happened there? Shortly thereafter, amazing news came to Rome. A picture of Our Lady had appeared in the skies of Genasano, to the sound of beautiful music and had come to rest over the wall of a church that was being rebuilt. So the two Albanians 
rushed to find their country's beloved treasure miraculously suspended in the air next to the wall of the chapel where it remains to this day. So what a beautiful history of this Our Lady of Good Counsel and be a living saint. Jesus Mary Joseph, we trust you.